head. What the hell? Johansson. Novak. Novak, come in. Great. That's just great. It's the engineer's hibernation chamber. Looks like poor Johansson didn't make it. I should have a second look at him after I manage to open the chamber from the medical room. No act to pal. Come in. Finally. This is pal. I read you. Listen. I'm injured. It's really bad. What? What is it? Man, it's bad. Just get to the cockpit as fast as you can. Uh, okay. Hang in there. I'll be there in a minute. It's stuck. The computer must have tried to close it according to the atmosphere containment protocol when we crash landed. I hope the hull is intact. It controls the door. The hydraulics are under pressure. If I could release them somehow... broke it open with the wrench and released the valve. Wow, that, that does look nasty. Right, listen. We need to get this rod out. The suit's meant to have sealed my wo wounds, so I'm alright for now. But you will have to patch up the holes in the suit after you've removed the rod. You... You'll need some glue for that, I guess. I think we might have something in the cargo bay. Hurry up, all right. And everything shut down after the crash. So I ran it. Tried to get the power back online. And reboot the mainframe. I'll get on it. I'll monitor your progress. On a helmet cam. Radio me when you need help. Thanks, Novak. That's still captured to you. Yeah, make me say it. Ah, oh, just get to work. Both consoles blew up. First Novax, then mine. I got lucky, he didn't. I hope he makes it though. I admit, I don't like him that much, but I don't want him to die either. I don't want to pull the rod out before I find something to seal the suit with. There's a small crack behind that bulkhead. It's an endless desert. Why do spaceships always crash land on desert planets? Why couldn't we have crash landed on a tropical beach planet? The touch panel has no power. I should operate the other screen. Looks like the hibernation chamber is leaking fluid. I'll have to check back here later to figure out what's wrong with the system. It's the tube that supplies the chamber with the fluid and electricity. Maybe I should check it closer. It's too dark there. I wouldn't see a thing. It's too dark up there. I wouldn't see a thing. The door is held firmly closed by the hydraulics. I can't force it open. The panel doesn't have power. I need something to power it up. This control panel seems to be fine, except it doesn't have power. I don't want to damage it if possible. I need to use something with power in it.
The ship has very little power, and the reactor is offline. I will need some extra power to start it up again. Several cables seem to be loose. They must have been torn down when we crashed, and most of the conduits are fried. The middle engine looks fine from the outside, but you never know. We'll ultimately find out when we get off this rock. The right engine is shot to hell. It's the main power conduit that channels power to the rest of the ship. It seems to be offline. It has a safety switch that shuts down the power going through it to prevent the user from getting electrocuted. The main panel got loose and it activated the safety. I won't be able to tighten the screws with that. There, I've tightened the screws. Wait, that should have turned off the safety, and the conduit should be humming with power. Johansson, our late engineer, used to use the top of these cabinets as a work desk. They're full of his stuff. Deadrock? The Deadrock? Looks like it, yeah. Well, that's just fantastic. Of all the inescapable places in the galaxy, we had to end up here. I admit, it sounds pretty bad. No, this is way worse than bad. We're on the one planet that no one's ever returned from. Even the UN has declared this place off limits. Well, you're right. But there's nothing we can do about it now. Computer, damage report. Main reactor offline. Engine 1 and 3 offline. Hibernation chambers 1 and 2 offline. Hibernation chamber 3 non-functional. Hull breaches detected in cockpit, medical room and cargo bay. Carbon dioxide concentration in ship exceeding toxic levels. Wow. That's all? Ah, it's not as bad as it sounds. Yes, it is. No, listen. We might have a chance to get out of here after all. We still have one engine intact, and the thrusters seem to be working too. But you need to see what's wrong with the hibernation system and seal those breaches. Go and check the CO2 filter in the med room. It hurts like hell when I try to move, so I'll just stay here. But I tried to scan the planet's surface for life signs. It's supposed to be an examining table, but Johansson used it as an extension of the desk when he ran out of space while working on one of his experiments. But it's surprisingly tidy now. There's a syringe inside. It's an access panel for the life support system and the power grid. That was pretty easy. The steel pipe is part of the O2 circulation system. I wouldn't do any damage if I removed it. There's a small crack behind that bulkhead.
It's circulating the air and working the CO2 filter at the same time. I'll have to shut it off from the cockpit to get a look at the filter behind it. It's a status report on the hibernation chambers. It says there's a malfunction in one of them. If we can't fix the hibernation system, there's no point in even taking off. We wouldn't survive the voyage without hibernation, even if we go to the nearest star base. Opening hibernation chamber I can see something inside the drain, but I can't reach it with my fingers. It's too deep down. The steel pipe is too thick to stick it down there. I need to figure out some other way to get it out, whatever that is. I'll need a larger sample. It's the tube that supplies the chamber with the fluid and electricity. Maybe I should check it closer. I've unscrewed the tube. There's an adapter piece underneath it. The containers are blocking the way to the back of the cargo bay. They must have fallen down during the crash. I can't move them by hand. It's full of fine leather jackets. It's a universal adhesive that uses nanotechnology. This baby fills up holes and cracks like nothing else. The nanobots inside distribute the material so it's absolutely airtight after it is cured. I'll need something to carry it around in. That's a good idea, but parts of the glue gun are still missing, so it doesn't work yet. The readout says that the carbon dioxide levels in the ship are too high. That turned off the ventilator in the medical room. I managed to get the rod out and seal the suit, but I don't think he'll be able to move anytime soon. His suit's med hack needs to take care of his wounds again. I'll just leave him here to rest for now. Oh yeah, and I broke the syringe in the process. Sorry about that. I managed to get the rod out and seal the suit, but I don't think he'll be able to move anytime soon.
I've taken out the old filter. I'll have to find a replacement somehow, but I'm almost sure that I won't find a spare part on the ship. I might have to rig something together from what I do find. Analyzing sample. Please stand by. No living cells found in sample. Did you get that, Novak? Yeah. It looks like the nutritional fluid is shot to hell. It must have been the extreme gravitational forces. We'll have to replace the fluid somehow. Have you seen all the sand out there? I doubt there's anything living on this dead rock. Ah, uh, I think I get the name now. That doesn't really help us, you know. But I've been able to scan the surface, and I found another vessel that has crashed. It's not too far. Were they caught in the same crap we were? How am I supposed to know? I don't even know why we crashed. I detected no life signs, so it must have been a while ago. Anyhow, you'll have to visit that other ship. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, I've been unable to jumpstart the reactor. There's just not enough juice. Plus the computer says that the plasma injector is fried in engine two. Damn, it looked like it was okay. The good news is that the other ship is emitting a standard military distress call. So it's probably a military ship, which means compatible parts for us. I never thought that one day I'd actually appreciate your enthusiasm for all things military. See? Anyways, see if you can find some replacement for the hibernation fluid, and a spare injector for the engine. And we'll need some extra power, so take that empty fuel set from engineering with you, if you haven't already. Is that all? And get me a cheeseburger while you're at it. Okay, pal out. Large fries. Pal out. Diet cola. Knock it off, you stupid son of a bitch. I heard that. I know. Let me get to work. I can see something inside the drain, but I can't reach it with my fingers. It's too deep down. I can reach the bottom with it, but I can't get that thing down there hooked. I need to figure out some other way to get it out. The containers are blocking the way to the back of the cargo bay. They must have fallen down during the crash. I can't move them by hand. I moved the containers out of the way with the steel rod. One firecracker will be enough, I think. I should use the control panel to open the door. The control panel that opens the rear loading door is acting up. The circuit must have been overloaded when I restored power to the ship. Maybe I can override it. There's a small crack behind that bulkhead. I can't use that to override the circuit. I can't use that to override the circuit. I have overridden the controls with the electric wires, and the control panel is now working. Open, says me. The door is already open. I still have a couple of things to do here, before I venture out into the desert. Feel that drain in your hands in this hibernation chamber with some liquid.
I've poured the beer down the drain. It's filled up, and now there's something floating in it. What a waste of a perfectly horrible can of beer. The glue has sealed the breach almost instantly. The glue has sealed the breach almost instantly. The glue has sealed the breach almost instantly. That's a good idea, except the ventilator and the gas mask don't fit perfectly. The gas mask will serve as a temporary CO2 filter. I'll just have to turn the ventilation back on again. The readout says that the CO2 levels are starting to normalize throughout the ship. Appreciate your honesty. Now, do you have anything to say, or did you just call to piss me off? Just a recap of what we need: a full energy cell and a spare injector for the reactor, plus some sort of replacement for the nutritional fluid of the hibernation system. I knew all that. You really do like to play captain, don't you? I don't have to play it. I am the captain. Okay. I uploaded the coordinates of that other ship to your suit, plus some terrain data. Okay, thanks. I'll get back to you when I have something. Pal out. It looks like the sand contains high concentrations of salt, Peter. There's no oxygen in the atmosphere. <laughs> 